The second clinical study was done at UCLA, an independent study with an independent investigator. And this time, the age group was from 40 to 77 years of age, and there were 29 subjects in this in this group. There was also a placebo group, you know, which with normal normal untreated people, uh, and that was a much younger group. It ranged up to 25, 20 to 25 years old, and that was used to control the level of elastin in a normal population. That study, after just three months, showed an increase in elastin to 21%. Again, the average starting am amount of elastin was 8%. So there you have 2.5% plus increase in the content of, of elastin. Uh, there was a, a third clinical study done in Shanghai University, which con consisted of over 200 people. and. Uh, this study showed an 88% increase in elastin as an average. Now, there was a, a larger increase in the proportion of elastin in the people who had low levels compared to those who had higher levels. And, and that's what you would expect uh, with this product, which is quite interesting in that ethicin does not increase elastin disproportionately because you, you don't want too much elastin, you want just the right amount, and the right amount is that which occurs in, in young people. So the net result of all these studies was that ethicin was a very effective agent in increasing the content of elastin to normal levels or what we would term youthful levels.